Good morning. It is day 161, and today we're going to be reviewing how to tell time on a clock. So before we dive into the steps, uh, let's just review a couple of important things about clocks. So there are 24 hours in a day, and on a clock, those hours restart after we count up to 12. There are 60 minutes in an hour. On a clock, each minute um, is marked by this little tick mark and then every five minutes we see a large number the large numbers remind us that we can count by fives to find out what the minute hand is pointing to um when we're telling time on a clock these are the following steps first thing we are going to do is label the numbers skip counting by five the next thing we're going to do is circle the hour hand and draw a line through it and then decide if it's pointing straight to the number that's that hour or if it's between two numbers then we have to lean back and take the smaller number the third step is to then circle the minute hand draw a line through that and then decide what number that minute hand is pointing to it could be pointing to one of the bigger numbers which we can use by skip counting by fives or it could be pointing to one of the smaller tick marks or dashes then we combine the number we got from the hour with the number we got from the minute to write the time on the clock. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So it says, find the time on this clock. I'm going to use my criteria for success to make sure that I'm answering every question correctly. So the first step is to label the numbers by skip counting by fives. So start up here 0 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 and then this is 0 because at 12 the minutes start over again okay so cross that out it says circle the hour hand and draw a line between or draw a line through the clock. The hour hand is the short hand, so I'm going to draw a line through this hour hand. So it's not exactly on the two, so if it's not on the two, then I have to choose the number that it's between. It's between two and three. I'm going to lean back and choose the two. So the hour is two. So I'm just going to write that the hour is two. And I cannot forget my two dots to show that we are telling time. Then it says to circle the minute hand, draw a line through. So this is the minute hand, draw a line straight through. The minute hand is going straight through that fifth dash mark, which is minute five. So I'm going to write that five minutes. So my time is. 205 and if I look at the clock it's pointing between the two and the three so I take the two and it's pointing right at the one which is counted as five minutes this clock's time is 205 another example first criteria for success the first thing I do is to label so it's 5 10 15 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and this is zero because back at zero or back at 12, we start over at zero. Cool. So I labeled, I can cross that out. The next step is to start with the hour hand. The hour hand is the short hand. I'm going to draw right through that hour hand is between the six and the seven so if it's between two numbers I lean back and take the smaller number so I'm going to take the six as the hour I'm going to write that and I cannot forget to write my two dots the minute hand draw a line through the minute hand which is the long hand if I look it's between 30, 31, 32, 33. And I say 33 because 
the smaller tick marks I count by ones. If I started here at the six, which represents 30, then I count 31, 32, 33. So I'm gonna write the minute as being 33. So the total time on this clock is 633. Let's do another example together. First thing I do is label. Starting at the one, counting by fives, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, zero, because we start over. Now I'm going to start with the hour hand, which is the short hand, and draw my line. The hour hand is between four and five, so I need to lean back, take the smaller number. The hour is four. Now we go to the minute hand. The minute hand is the long hand. Draw my line. It's going right through that seven. That seven represents 35 minutes. So <clears throat> I'm going to write 35. Combine the hour and the minute. The time is 435 on this clock. Notice how it's the same strategy over and over. Follow the criteria for success to find the time. What am I gonna do first? Yep, I'm gonna label the clock. Starting at the one, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 35, 50, 55, back at zero, the minutes start over at 12. The next step is to draw my line through the hour hand. Ooh, that's a terrible line. There we go. My hour hand is between the one and two, so I'm going to lean back and take the smaller number, which is the one. Okay. <clears throat> then I'm going to do the same thing with the minute hand. Draw my line through. The minute hand is not pointing exactly on one of the big numbers. So I'm gonna start here at this eight, which is 40, and then count by ones, 41, 42, 43, 44. So this minute hand is pointing to the 44. Okay, so now I'm going to combine the hour, which was one, with the minute, which was 44, and write my time of 144. So this clock is 144. Notice how for every question, we use the criteria for success to make sure we were following the steps correctly. That is what you are going to do to answer these next set of questions where you need to find the time on these clocks. Please, scholars, make sure that you are actually going through and using the criteria for success to help you. Once you're done practicing, you are going to take those same skills to complete your exit ticket questions where you will have to, again, Find the time listed on the clocks. Please, 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 please use your criteria for success before you just start clicking answers. The criteria for success is there to make sure that you're completing the steps in the correct order so that you don't have to guess. All right, good luck.